Hey, what's going on, Aaron? I hope you're doing well. If you're watching this video right now, you might be checking out this website here called Vinted, and maybe you're wondering, can you make some extra spare money just by selling your secondhand clothes, shoes, and accessories? Let's check it out. Let's find out if it's legit. Is this a good strategy or a big waste of time, okay? Now, anytime, if you want to get my favorite way to get to $10,000 a month, 100% from home, click the link right below, and I'll share with you my favorite strategy. Now, on this channel, I have reviewed hundreds and hundreds of different strategies, websites, business models to make money online. Some of them are really good. Some of them, though, are a big waste of time. So let's check out Vinted to find out whether this is a good way to make some spare change on the side, or maybe you can even start a full business with Vinted, right? Now, Vinted is basically a secondhand um, clothes, shoes, and accessories marketplace. They've been around for a long time, and they're available in these countries right here, okay? So they're available in the US, in Canada, in the UK, and also different parts of Europe, mainly Portugal, Italy, Lithuania, Poland, Slovakia, Belgium, the Netherlands, Germany, Austria, Czech, Spain, France, and Luxembourg, okay? So about 16 markets. So it's not available everywhere in the world, but a big part of Europe, um, you know, the US, Canada, and the UK, which is pretty cool. So unfortunately not available in Africa or Asia or Australia, um, and, you know, and these parts of the world, but uh, it does cover a lot of markets, okay? So if you've got a lot of extra clothes or extra accessories, you can sell it on this particular platform. Now it's for male and female as well, right? So you can see here women and men, and you know, if you just scroll down, you'll see that a lot of the stuff is actually really cheap because it's a secondhand clothing website, right? Or shoes and accessories website. So generally people don't sell the stuff for very much. I mean, you can see here $5.95, you know, $5.95. This one's slightly expensive, you know, $26.95, but it is Lululemon, okay? So it depends on what you're selling, right? $2.80 for some things, you know, $21 here, $1.75, $1.75, $1.75, really cheap, you know, um, $32, $11.20, things like that, $37 for a pair of, you know, secondhand Nike shoes, things like that. And then they've got the men's section, right? Um, you know, outerwear, blazers, shorts, sleepwear, activewear, a lot of different things, okay? Kids, home as well, the pillows, you know, rugs, things like that, entertainment, right? Literature, fiction, you know, music. They sell a lot of things actually secondhand, which is really, really cool, okay? So generally a really cool store, right? How does this actually work? Now for sellers, it's free. That's the cool thing about this website. So that means if you're a seller and you wanna sell your shoes or your shirts or your blouse or a necklace or things like that, you don't actually have to pay any money. It's the buyer that has to pay. So the way that Vinted makes their money is the buyer has to pay an extra 5% on top of the price, all right? And then they have to pay 70 cents per item, okay? It's probably for postage, right? Um, and so that's basically how it works. So as a seller, if you wanna make money on the platform, it's pretty cool because you can just upload your products for free, right? But there are a couple of steps that you have to understand that you have to jump through if you wanna sell your products successfully. You have to understand that Vinted, just like any website, has a limited amount of space. I mean, this is all that you can see, right? So when people scroll, okay, on the website, especially on the app, because the app is very small, it's just on your phone, right? They don't get to see a lot of stuff. So in order for you to get um, high rankings for people to see your stuff, there are a few things that you have to do, okay? So first of all, make sure you take good pictures. All right, so pictures like this where it's really plain, it's just the item and you know, it's a really plain background, that's a good idea. Because if it's very messy, then people can't really see what the item is. You know, so if it's stuff like this, you know, it's a bundle, even though this is a bundle, right? You can't really see what's going on there, right? If you have a lot of stuff in the background that makes it messy, then it's diff difficult to see the item. So make sure it's very, very clear like this, all right? So that's the first tip. The second tip as well is if your item is too expensive, then people aren't gonna buy it because this is a secondhand market, right? So make sure you make it cheap, okay? And also another cool tip is that after you, you've uploaded it and you've had one price, let's say you price something at $10, go and fix it later on and reduce it to like $9.50 or $9. That will give it a natural bump up the rankings, which is cool, okay? Now you can also pay for what's called bump, you know, you can bump the rankings and you can pay money to um, increase your visibility, but I wouldn't necessarily do that. You have to see whether it's worth your time because I mean, if you're charging someone like five bucks, to sell something and then you pay for a bump and then you still have to pay for, for the postage, that kind of sucks. You're not really gonna make much money that way, okay? So very important 
to have good strategy behind this as well, right? Um, another thing that you can do to increase your sales, I think, is you see how people like like the hearts right here, right? You know, somebody likes this heart, somebody likes this heart. Well, you can actually see the people that like your stuff. So if you want, you could, you know, reach out to the people directly and send them a message and say, hey, I saw that you liked my item. You know, would you like the, me to send it directly to you? Or maybe you can even give them a, a little discount, 5%, 10%. People love discounts, right? So the, that increases your chance of actually selling the item. Now, it's more work. But if you just want to offload some items quickly, then you can do that. All right. So there's a few different ways that you can increase the strategy here. But, you know, please understand that, you know, sometimes it is difficult to sell because there's just so much stuff on here. Right. So if I go to like suits and blazers for men, you'll see that there's a lot of people selling stuff here. So if you're a seller, it could take a little while before somebody sees your thing to be interested in buying it. Okay, so it's a combination of things. It's a little bit of luck. It's about how many things you post. Do you take good pictures? Um, you know, do you have high rankings, right? Make sure you put all the details as well inside. Okay, so if I come into the code section, make sure you add all the right stuff like the size, the color, the location, you know, the, 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 the payment methods, all that kind of stuff. That's really, really important. Okay, as much as possible so that you can maximize your chances of getting your stuff sold. All right, so that's one cool way of doing this. Now let's check out what are people really saying about Vinted, okay? Because it's cool if you, look, if you've got a bunch of stuff and you wanna just offload it, then it's really no sweat off your back if you don't necessarily sell them. But if you're doing this as a business, that means somehow you're getting a lot of secondhand clothing and you wanna sell it on Vinted, right? There are a couple of things that you have to understand about this if you want to do this as a business, okay? So I like to go to uh, Trustpilot. Trustpilot is pretty good. It's a third-party review website. And anytime any company has below four stars, for me, that is a problem, okay? Because usually under four stars means that something is wrong, right? Now with Vinted, there are 41,000 reviews. That's a lot of reviews. And they're only being reviewed at 3.4 stars. That's not good, okay? So if I scroll down, you can see that the one stars are almost as high as the five stars. 41% of people are rating it one star. That's really bad, all right? Now, I've been through the one stars, and this is basically the main problem that people are complaining about, okay? So two things, the two main things. Number one, sellers are getting blocked for no reason. That means you could start a, a channel on here, and even though you are selling something you know, genuine, for some reason, the algorithm or whatever is picking you up as like a scammer or, uh, for some reason, you know, something is wrong and then they just block your account, which really sucks, okay? It gives you a really, really bad experience, okay? Second thing is their customer service is very slow, okay? And thirdly, and this is the main problem, is that they have just changed it so that a seller is not allowed to pick their postage uh, or delivery options. That means the buyer is the one that can choose. And that's not good for a seller because if you're selling stuff, and the buyer is telling you that this is the way that they want the product delivered, but it's very difficult for you to get to that particular shipping uh, method, it makes it extremely inconvenient for you to deliver stuff. So for example, if you're selling a lot of items and you've got a lot of buyers that are choosing like five different you know, methods of shipment, it's going to affect you. That means you've got to drive around your whole city doing different methods of dropping off the item and stuff like that. And it's very, very inconvenient. And it doesn't really make sense if you're selling items for like five bucks you know, or two bucks, right? If you have to drive across the city to drop it in some box somewhere and you're only making $2.80, is it really worth your time? So a lot of sellers, a lot of big sellers are saying they're going to move back to eBay because Vinted just made this change. Look, this is a day ago. So it's a very, very recent thing. And I don't know why Vinted did that because it's actually really, really bad for the sellers because it makes it extremely inconvenient for you to basically ship items to the buyers, okay? So the buyers get to choose. Uh, the seller doesn't get to, see, postage problems, right? Um, the sellers don't get to, you don't get to choose how to ship your items, which makes it very, very inconvenient. And you might decide that it's not worth your effort or time to do that. And that's actually a really, really big problem, okay? Another thing that you have to understand with, with Vinted is that because they are a marketplace, right? They're just kind of providing a service. It's a third party thing. Um, people come here, but they're not responsible for shipping the items or anything like that. If you don't receive the item in the mail or something gets lost, you don't get compensated at all. All right, so if you pay for something like you pay $21 for this dress 
and it gets lost in the mail, you're not going to get refunded. Um, they're not going to sh- send you a, a replacement, nothing like that. Okay, so it's like, it, you know, buy at your own risk kind of thing. So as a buyer, that sucks. Uh, as a seller, you know, that's good for you as a seller. But just understand that that's kind of how it works. All right. So pros and cons, you know, I mean, if you're lucky and, you know, you don't mind running around and, and you know, uh, shipping it in many different strategies. And, you know, if you just have a few items to offload, I think it can be pretty cool. Just make a little bit of extra income. Right. But if you're trying to do this as a business, it, it may not be necessarily the best platform now because they just changed their shipping method. Methods, um, and that kind of sucks if you're trying to build this as a business, okay? But if you want to check uh, Vinted out, Vinted.com, you could offload a couple of, uh, you know, your, your clothes, your shoes, your accessories on here for cheap. Uh, and you could just, you know, clear out your closets and, and your house, you know, that way, which is which is pretty cool, okay? Now, if you're here watching this video right now, maybe you are looking for a way to build a real business. Maybe you're looking for a way to build big income. Now, on this channel, I've reviewed hundreds and hundreds of different strategies to make money online. Different business models, different websites, different apps, uh, different products, things like that, right? I've seen the good, the bad, and the ugly, okay? Now, out of all the good strategies, though, there is one that I tried, right? And I used it to quit my full-time job in 2019. I actually used it to five times my old corporate salary. I don't work this job anymore. I work full time from home right now. It changed my life basically. I think it's a great strategy for beginners. If you've never made money online before, I think that this is you know good for basically anyone to give it a shot. Okay, if you wanna check it out, I've got a masterclass that teaches you how to do it for free all the way at the bottom. There's a link right there. Check it out if you want, all right? I hope you enjoyed this review of Vinted. All the best to you and I will see you on another video review. Take care.